Why, hello you guys! I thought it would be fun to do a very, very, very random, kind of a junk journal kind of craft today. So I got really inspired on StarStable.com's news page on their July 20th post. They have this really adorable image of these two horses sitting on the beach, and then they have like this like little border with the seashells and the lanterns. And I thought this would make a really good little photo tuck. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to just copy this image, pop it into like paint, and now I want to cut out just this border because that's what I'm going to be putting in my journal. Copy this piece now so you can see that. Now I got the seashells and then I'm just going to open up just a Word document and paste it in and now I have my seashell border in here ready for me to print out. Now I also want to take this one right here of the lanterns because that is just so beautiful. That's going to look really good in the journal. Okay, there we go. I love, 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 love the sand texture. So so maybe we can do something with the sand texture. I'm gonna go into their new settings, which I'm so happy that they added this in, that you can actually hide your player now. And under game, I can also change now the field of view. So let's get in kind of close. Yeah, let's get in, <laughs> let's get in real close to the sand. So I'm gonna just print screen, again, take it to paint and paste that image in there. Probably just go like this and just cut a shot of this out. Should be good. Cause this is a big one. Cause this is what I want now for my background piece. Fill the page a bit more like that. Now I've got a really beautiful sandy background. So what else would I use? Do I like this little seashell on a rope? Maybe, could be difficult to cut out. Out though, let's see, what else do we have? Ooh, maybe one of these wood planks. One of the wood pieces, that could be nice. Oh, or a beach towel. Should I use one of these beach towels? I don't know, you can't go wrong with either. All right, let's zoom in and hide character. Okay, take a copy. So just make room for it here. And let's also try to get a beach towel. One of these look nice. And we'll just throw that in here, why not? Okay, this looks really cute. And I'm going to take another one of these and I'm just gonna copy this and I'm just gonna paste another one and flip it like that. Just cause I think I wanna cut these shells out a little bit more. I might just throw them on the beach somewhere. Okay, this is looking really cute and we've got our background. So I'm gonna just print both of these and I'll see you in just a second. Okay, so I got everything printed out here. So I've got my two pages. So I'm just gonna cut everything out. Okay, there we go. So it fits in here very nicely, but because my notebook has a rounded edge, I'm just gonna take my scissor and just round the edge just a little bit. Now I'm gonna take out all these pieces and I'm just gonna cut out each and every single one of them. Let's just take a little look here at what I've got. This is how I'm thinking it's gonna look is that I'm gonna have a little tuck up here to tuck a little photo. And then of course, these little guys are so cute. Oh, I can use them both at the bottom. Should I do that instead? That's kind of cute. I was gonna cut out the seashells on the one, but maybe I'll just do that. And then I was thinking about doing like another little place to put photos using this beach towel is like just a really cute. Oh, that looks so cute. <gasps> Look at that with the star stable paper. I'm telling you, doing like this like scrapbooking, it has been so relaxing. Oh, look at, oh, I'm so excited. I have so many ideas. This looks so good. I put, <laughs> I put my notebook on the ground and I was petting my dog and I was arranging all of these little paper pieces as I was petting her and you guys, she drooled right on the page. <laughs> So I'm gonna have to use the towel. She drooled right on it. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to glue on my dog slobbered sand <laughs> right into my notebook. All right, I'm just gonna take a glue stick. Oh, she got, she got this really good. All right, drag my glue stick across and glue this into my notebook. I'm really getting the edge. All right, I went and I picked out some sandy colored nail polish. So I'm hoping that this will transform Transform the sand and make it look a little bit more elevated and just kind of give it some texture. So I'm really hoping these are gonna work, especially this one right here, because look at that glitter. Oh, I feel like we need glitter in the sand. Glittering sand, yes, please. All right, I'm gonna take some and carefully dot it on the back of my paintbrush just a little bit, like one grain of sand. And I'm just going to dot it on the page like that. Grab a little bit more. Yeah, I want that glitter on there too. Glitterize the sand. I just kind of carefully dot it. Of course, not adding too much. I mean, this is sand, right? So we want to keep it nice and small. I 
think this is gonna be perfect. Not only is it holographic glitter, but it's gold. So this should be like the perfect sand color. It looks so, so, so beautiful. I'm gonna let this dry overnight. All right, I let it completely dry. So the sand is pretty on the page. So that means that we can now continue. Okay, so now I found this nail polish that I also love. Do you see that? It has a absolutely stunning turquoise -y iridescent flip to it. Give it a good shake. And I'm just gonna paint these seashells with the nail polish. Okay, look at that. Do you see that little iridescent flip to it? I think iridescent and hologram can pretty much elevate anything. Let's paint these. Now I'm going to add some sparkle to the lanterns. Again, you can't go wrong with holographic glitter. So I'm just gonna use this and a toothpick. Take a tiny bit on the tip of my toothpick like that much, just a little bead. Place it on my lantern, take it and drag it and it will add little gorgeous little detail. Okay, now with my wood pieces, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of some makeup and I've just got a, a paintbrush here. And of course, if you use makeup or anything dedicated to crafts, do not put this on your face. So this makeup is for art and creating only. So I'm gonna go in with this color here and I have a very dense paintbrush. It's just a regular art paintbrush and I'm just kinda, put this on the wood, just so it has a little bit of a shimmer to it. So it's got that sheen, you can see that sheen there, versus a piece that is still very matte that I have not done. And then now for the beach towel, I think it would be really pretty to use this kind of ready pink color here. So only on the pink, I'm just gonna go in. Each towel has a little bit of like a satin sheen to it, only on the pink. Because I used makeup on them and because that's a loose pigment, it's not gonna dry. So I'm just gonna spray it with some hairspray really lightly. Oh. Okay, now it's time to assemble. I only want to glue down this side and this side, leave this open so I can tuck in, you know, photos and things. They can just fit right in here like that. That would be so cute hanging under the lanterns right along the edge in this edge and place it on the page like that. So for this one, I'm gonna create a pocket that you can stick things, you know, all the way through. So I'm only gonna put glue here and here. Glue this side and this side like that. All right, great, see? I just have a scrap of paper here just to show you it can go all the way through. Now down at the bottom of my page, I was gonna do both of these and create two pockets on the side, but I think what I wanna do is I wanna cut the seashells out of this one and only have a pocket on this side. So I'm only gonna glue here and here. I'll glue this side and this side. A little pocket right here. Same thing, kinda like the beach blanket. I'm only gonna glue down the two sides. A little glue on this side and just place. Press down. Same thing with this one. A little glue and press. That look good? And this one, like that. Okay, so now I can stick in photos kind of wherever. You could have them go all the way through. That would be really cute. All right, now my little seashells. Okay, so that is it. This page is ready now for our Polaroids that I'm gonna be making. So I've got a little tuck spot right here under the lanterns. A full little tuck spot here. Photos can go under the boardwalk or here in the corner with the shells. And now we're gonna actually create the little faux Polaroids. So this is a picture of a blank Polaroid right here. So I want it to basically have this shape. And you can see all my pictures. All I did was print screen some pictures of my time in Star Stable at the beach party. So I'm just gonna make sure all of my images are about this size. I'm just gonna resize them so they're you know about the same. And then as you can see here in the paint document, I had this picture of the new cat Wilma kind of I just cut it out like that. Easy, I just got my picture, add to my Word document, just paste it in there, and of course, just resize. Okay, so now what I wanna do, cause the Polaroid it has like a border around and then a little bit longer at the bottom. I'm just gonna do exactly that, but right here in the Word document, I'm just gonna make sure that all these pictures are spaced out. These look good, so most important thing is that they have the space at the bottom. All right, so now to print these. This is just on regular printer paper. So now I'm gonna thicken up this printer paper so it actually kind of feels like photo photo paper. So I'm just using some more printer paper right here. This is just some scrap paper that it looks like I had printed some ocean scenes on and now it's just scratch paper. We're gonna give it a brand new purpose. Okay, now I'm gonna take this paper and I'm going to glue my Star Stable photos on. Take my glue stick and glue the whole thing down. Okay, and then once that dries, 
You hear that? Kind of have a little bit more of a weight to it. And now I want to paint each one of the pictures so they stand out a little bit more and it will actually look kind of glossy by using Mod Podge. And I'm making sure that it's the gloss version, not a matte. Now I'm going to take a very flat brush like this, pour on some Mod Podge, just a little bit. And I'm going to paint only the pictures. I'm going to try not to go outside of the picture line and make sure completely dried because you could smear the ink. So, and I'm not adding any water to these. I'm just painting on the gloss Mod Podge right up to the edge and this will gloss the photo. And this is just a texture and a visual thing. Oh, you can see some of my ink from my printer ran a little bit there. So I just wanna be careful not to get too close to the edge with the Mod Podge, but it's okay if it does, not a problem. Now to turn them into Polaroids. I got my cutter, cut them roughly, that right here. Very cute, they look like little itty bitty Polaroids and they actually have that gloss to the photo while the rest of it is just matte. And now you can tuck them into the scene wherever you want. Maybe feeding Bruce goes up here. Maybe we'll hide the little kitty underneath the blanket. I love it. Okay, so you just stick them into the little pockets and you can do it however you want. So I'm just gonna put these kind of in here, put this one like that. And this little seashell pocket, maybe we will put like that. This is such a cute, like little summer at the beach, star stable, little memory page. And of course these can be pulled out anytime and looked at them and I can write little things at the bottom. And I just think that this is just really cute. Rearrange them any way you want. Take more photos and stuff them in here. Okay, I really love that little pocket at the bottom. And again, don't forget, we've got beautiful sparkly pretty sand. The seashells have been painted. I just absolutely love this craft. I love it. So thanks for hanging out with me just while I created this. I thought I would take you guys along with me. Can't wait to see the new Shire horses that are coming out on Wednesday. So I will see you guys in my next video, hopefully with the new Shire horses. Bye guys, I'll see you later. Very cute.